the, some of the changes in the building inside. As you can see from the branding outside, uh, we, uh, we've invested a lot of time and effort and we will be investing uh, about five million dollars into the building to make it a first class facility. Um, and we're delighted about that. We have fascia boards inside that you'll see when we start the hockey game uh, tonight. And I want to introduce our uh, hockey coach, Blaze McDonald, and just say that we have a nationally ranked hockey team uh, that we're excited about. Our attendance is among the highest in the, uh, in the Hockey East League, which is, by the way, one of the most uh, prestigious hockey leagues, probably the most prestigious hockey league in the country. So uh, please welcome the coach of our hockey team, Blaze McDonald. Thank you. Um, I'd first like to introduce two of my players that are here, unfortunately, that are unable to play this evening. We've got, with an upper body injury, we have uh, Jeremy Daner. With a lower body injury, we have Matt Ferrara. So I'd like to uh, thank these guys for being here. I'd like to uh, echo everybody's thoughts and congratulations for all the combatants that uh, worked unconditionally to come out with what was best for both the city and certainly the university. And you'll have to forgive me, I usually have teleprompters when I'm here, so <laughs> hope I don't misspeak. Um, it's, a great, it's a great night for us, and, and really from my, from my end of it, I, I grew up in Bill Ricca here. I'm unconditional in, in my passion for, for this university and, and certainly for the city and community. And to this day, I've been here, it's my ninth year, I've been here for, for quite some time. I'm still amazed at the amount of times I'll take a recruit and his family, whether it be from Burlington or Walpole, take them into my office and then show them around the city, and then show them most recently through the university. One, one, of, the, uh, one of the families from Burlington and their dad went to school here and played for Billy Riley. And I showed them the boathouse and the university and what was going on with the physical plant. And they were just, they were amazed. They were amazed. And uh, every time we get somebody through the city, you know, through the streets of Lowell, I think it just, you know, it just elevates the image. And, and quite frankly, that's what we're, we're involved in. We're in image management. And, and Lowell has a tremendous image and it's getting better and better. And certainly this university is mirroring that image with what's going on with Chancellor Meade and everybody involved with this, uh, with this university. So from our perspective, uh, we're very grateful for everybody. We'll, we'll benefit tremendously with our recruiting efforts. Recruiting is the lifeblood of any hockey program. As Chancellor Meade said, we play in the very best league in the country. We're playing Boston University tonight, uh, defending national champs. Uh, so it's, you know, it, it, it's an honor and it's a privilege to represent this university against the very, very best. And we feel our fans, our alumni, the people in the community come to our games, you know, I think we're worthy of your support without question. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, enjoy the game this evening. And, uh, you know, I, I just can't wait to see how this is going to really help our program. We've, we've overcome some challenges with what was going to happen with our program. And this certainly is just such a huge statement. I can't even articulate how big it is when it comes to recruiting and the stability of our program for going forward, how it's going to able, enable us to uh, really attract great talent. Thank you.